What's up everybody, my name is Tyler from College Express and welcome back to another episode of the College Cooking Series. Today, one of my personal favorites, you can call it the breakfast bar, the oatmeal bar. Either way, it's something quick and easy, you can grab it on the go and enjoy it whenever you'd like. So let's get right into the recipe. Here we go. Oh yeah, another College Cooking Original 2019. Breakfast bar, yeah. Take it on the go. So easy to make. Put it in your backpack. So tasty, yeah. So delicious. Gonna show you how to make it. Let's go. Start by taking one stick of butter, putting that bad boy in the microwave and melting it. Take that butter and set it aside. Make room for a big bowl. Next, take your two cups of oats. Pour it into that bowl. Make sure you don't leave any of those behind. Oh, you left some behind. Put it back in. All right, now take your half a cup of brown sugar and add it in. Next, you're gonna be mixing it all about. Make sure you're breaking apart any of the brown sugar that is stuck together so that it is evenly distributed. You can see me smacking that fork in there to make sure that it's getting crushed in and mixed well. Mixing the initial, you're going to be pouring in your one-fourth cup of canola oil and your stick of butter that you had previously melted in the microwave. Make sure they get it all in there and then begin mixing once again. Make sure that when you're mixing, there's no moisture left behind, making sure that everything is evenly distributed and is a nice, solid, even mixture. Once it's done, set that bowl aside and take in a microwavable bowl or a square or a circle. It really doesn't matter. Squares are nicer because you can make nice cuts at the end. All I had was this glass circle bowl. So we're going to be pouring the mixture in and then patting everything down. Once complete, we're going to be taking it over to the microwave and popping it in for three minutes. Once that's finished, we're going to be taking it back over to the table and adding our one cup of chocolate chips to our microwave mixture. Make sure you're spreading it out evenly when you're distributing from the cup. Now we're going to be taking it back to the microwave and microwaving it only at 30%. This is very important for four minutes. Make sure the microwave is set to 30% because if you microwave chocolate on the high setting, things can burn, smoke alarms can go off, your RAs will be very mad, the fire department will be very mad, your student body will be very mad. Don't make people mad. 30%, four minutes, make it happen. Now that we've had it at the 30% for four minutes, we're gonna pop it out of the microwave and we're gonna start spreading that chocolate around. It may be a little bit messy at first, but just work through it, start making it get smoother and smoother and smoother until you have a pretty good base. And then we're gonna be popping that into the fridge and waiting as long as possible but if you're very hungry you can wait 15 to 20 minutes cut that bad boy up serve it around let it sit overnight or like i said you can take it on the go anywhere anytime eat it in the morning eat it at lunch eat it at dinner it's all good enjoy